All right, hey, Blood Dads, we're here on Saturday morning, actually Saturday afternoon now, and we just went to went through the Lynn Cove Viaduct, and um, now we're at the Moses H. Coin Memorial Park. So let me go ahead and turn you around and show you Flat Top Manor. You guys ready? That's the view of the Bass Lake as it overlooks from the top of this ridge here. So let me tell you about this area right here. So, Moses Cone, a self-made man in the America, in the best American tradition, started as a traveling salesman in the Southeast and rose to become a wealthy and influ influential industrialist. His textile mills produced high quality fabric, especially denim. So yeah, your jeans, way back when, they probably were from him. Fond of nature, Moses was drawn to the mountainous region of the Western North Carolina with its modest climate, fresh spring water, and clean air in the mid-1890s, mid Moses and his wife Bertha journeyed to Blowing Rock to design and build their summer estate as a retreat from their residence in the Baltimore, Maryland, and Mills in Greensboro, North Carolina. So this is Flap Top Manor, the Cone's magnificent 23-room summer retreat now houses a visitor center and a park store as well as the Southern Highland Craft Guild store. It is open spring through fall with tours scheduled seasonally so let me turn you around again so out here is 3600 acres of their property almost all their property the park service has almost all of it as i had asked one of the um the rangers um some of the reservoir which is part of that 3600 um acre property uh, was given to one of the cities in order to use uh, as a water source. But um, this is a huge property. And now we're going to turn you around and show you the actual manor itself. So let's go this way. So you can see the horses in the background over there. That's where the carriage house is from. And of course they're doing reservations. I mean, this is a over 100 year old house. Thus it needs massive renovations just to keep the upkeep of it and the beauty. So right above us here is the parking lots where tons of people come in, park to come to this park over here there's flat top mirror in the 1940s and 50s there's a view of their apple orchard and off of one of their porches which looks down off of that lake in the distance Okay, so now let's take a look at the actual manor itself. Now they have a craft center, which unfortunately because of time, the, the large craft center that we were in, um, we weren't able to take video. This is still in um, enacted. Okay, here we go. So inside this room was the dining room, along with their um, fireplace here. Excuse us, okay. So as we come through here. There is, this is the stairs to the upper part of the manor. This is Moses and Bertha Cohn. And that's the front entrance of the residence itself. Now we're going to take you around and show you the Southern Highland Craft Guild.
Now, as I said before, we were at a the, one of the largest craft guilds um, off of this parkway at an earlier time, but we were unable to film, so now I get to film it. And these are some of the crafts that you see here. Gorgeous. One of the more beautiful pieces is I love this. This is so beautiful. Sitting in the billiard room with the pottery. Beautiful pieces. I just crack up because of the course it's somebody's summer house. <laughs> Not your year round house, it's just Excuse your me. summer house. Enjoy it. She's <laughs> <laughs> Of course, this is the park store at Cone Manor. It's probably one of the prettiest posters I've ever seen. This is really gorgeous. So this is the Blue Ridge Parkway of Western North Carolina. And I'll show you where we started. We started way over here at Cherokee. Then as we drove, we stopped at the Pisgah Inn. And we stayed in Asheville for two days. We drove up here. Went to Craggy Gardens. Went to the Craggy Pinnacle. The highest point east of the Mississippi is Mount Mitchell State Park at 664 feet. And then we drove from there. On the other side of the mountains where Roan Mountain, Tennessee is. That's that says Tennessee. Then we drove back through Spruce Pine and stopped at the Mineral, Mineral Museum. Now we had to get off at Linville. We were, there was a part of the parkway which wasn't open. And we did stop at Beach Mountain. And we traveled on the Lynn Cove Viaduct as we passed um, a park that we went to last year and actually hiked, the Julian Price Memorial Park. And now we're here at Moses H. Cone Memorial Park. And now we're gonna be on to Boone. And here's the view from this room right here, beautiful. Okay, so as we're leaving this room over here, thank you to the Cones, you have a beautiful residence. And they, they donated it to the park service and now it's being utilized so everybody can enjoy um, all it has to offer from the manor to the grounds 3,600 acres 
close to it. So if you like what you see here at Blab Dad, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Share this information so you can come down to the Moses H. Cone Memorial Park. All right, we'll see you on the parkway.